Hey everyone, my name's Abby and welcome to Brown and Bougie, the podcast about me, a brown girl living in a bougie world. Hello, hello, hello and welcome back to another episode of Brown and Bougie. So today I thought I'd talk about a kind of touchy-ish topic for people, but something that people don't talk about enough is insecurities. The fun fact of life, as much as you would hate to admit it, everyone has insecurities. You could literally be Beyonce and look the way she does and sing the way she does and has all the money and whatever it is. But everyone in this world, I'm sure Beyonce does, I can literally bet you a hundred million pounds, not that I have that money anyway, but I'm sure she has insecurities and everyone does. And there's nothing wrong with having them. And I think that's where the the kind of issue is because the thing is people think that you know it's wrong to have an insecurity you know that makes me weak and people don't sometimes talk about it enough which is why I think sometimes people have issues kind of admitting emotions and stuff and the thing is you've got to always remember that absolutely no way that if ever anyone says to you and thinks that you you tell them about one of your insecurities makes you a weak person or makes you less strong or whatever it is you need to cut that person out. And I know that's a really harsh thing to say, but every one of us in this world has insecurities. You can have insecurities about the way you look, about the way you talk, about your education, about your career, about your relationship. It all happens and there's nothing wrong with that. And I think loads of people talk to me and say to me, yeah, you know, like, I just don't feel good about this or whatever it is. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But it's about how you deal with that situation. I've given loads of talks and podcasts and whatever about motivation. So I'm not going to do that part today. But it was just more like I wanted to, I guess, highlight the fact that there's nothing wrong with having insecurity. I know someone who kind of got into a relationship and their partner basically started having insecurities about their past relationships and it was one of those weird things where she said to me she said oh like you know he seems to be really kind of like weird about my past and I said to her and I was like did you did you tell him this like do you tell him that and did you also tell him that you have insecurities about his past and she was like no and I was like well why didn't you do that because at the end of the day as far as I'm concerned a relationship is about communication And the thing is, if he's got insecurities, he has to have a reason for having those insecurities. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Either he's been hurt in the past or he you've done something or he's heard something about you or something like that for him to have that insecurity. And insecurities don't just come. They don't just come. You know, I used to have insecurities about the way I looked. And that was because people used to call me fat. People used to be like, hey, fat, you come over here. And people actually used to do that. And yet you know like you could be like oh shit like does someone actually say that to you yes they did when I was growing up people used to call me fat and all that stuff like that and that's where my insecurities came from they didn't just come out of the blue ask me about anything else ask me my skin color I freaking love it ask me about my height I love it I'm not insecure about that at all I'm insecure about the fact that yeah I used to be fat right and like well uh, yeah I I don't want to go into that conversation but you know that's what I used to think about myself and now I basically dealt with it and now I feel so much more confident in my own skin, which is a good thing. Like, I kind of overcame that insecurity. But I have way more. I have insecurities about, like, my career and, like, you know, what's going to happen in my life and whatever it is. And like I said, me admitting this to you now doesn't make me any weak. If anything, it just makes me a stronger person because I know what I need to work on. You pick up on an insecurity, then you can be like, okay, cool. I know that I'm not okay with this about my life, so I'm going to go change it. And that's where you should be thinking about it in, a, in terms of like a positive way, right? Nothing wrong with having them. Everyone in this world, go ask your parents, go ask your siblings, your cousins, your friends, whoever they are, every single person in this world has an insecurity, at least one. And unfortunately, some of it, as you probably know this already, is stemmed from other people. It stemmed from social media. It stemmed from someone said this to me or, you know, you, something you see online and you think, oh, shit, I'm not like that, whatever it is. You know, and this is where, like, you know, people struggle with, like, you know, things like... And the thing is, this is something, like, with, with my friend who was telling me about her, um, her boyfriend or whatever, it turned out that actually the guy had been cheated on and that's why he felt insecure about it but the thing is that I think with her and I said to her and I was like you have to talk to him about it and just be open about it and just say to him that actually do you know what I have insecurities about your past and that's okay but you need to learn to trust me and at the end of the day obviously actions will always speak louder than words especially in a relationship but with every single insecurity that's how it works you know you've got to remember that if you find the passion to change that thing about you It's a power in itself and that's where you've got to remember.
you know and like that's what you've always got to think okay you know what I can do this and things like that and like again you know like I know this is like a really cliche thing to say but the fact of life is the strongest hearts do have the most scars people who are super strong and you know would always say that I always have to be super strong they're the people who've probably gone through more and at the end of the day it's not a competition that you've gone through more than me it's nothing like that we all go through shit in our own way and assume the language but that's the fact you know we've all gone through stuff but the thing is you've got to look at that thing and think about how I can turn it over but always remember there is nothing wrong with having insecurities and like I said if anyone ever comes up to you and says to you oh my god why are you insecure about that you shouldn't be okay unless they are trying to you know comfort you or whatever it is you need to take those people out of your life because actually they're probably the reasons why that insecurity came about in the first place and to be honest, like, it doesn't say, yeah, okay, people used to call me fat or whatever it is. But also social media made a difference. Because, you know, you look at a model and she's skinny, she's beautiful, she's tall, she's looking at this. And I'm like, yeah, okay, cool, whatever. You know, like, people like me don't get recognised. And I was like, okay, yeah, whatever. And, like, that used to affect me. But now I'm actually, like, actually, to be, well, to be honest, now a lot more, like, there's a lot more diversity in model- modelling and things like that, whatever, which is cool. But then you've always got to remember that that change only came about because someone started talking about it. Someone started voicing their opinion about it. And that's completely OK. You've always got to remember that you might not agree with someone. You might not. F that. You might not agree with anything I've said in my last however many podcasts. You might be like, oh, this girl's like chatting so much shit. Yeah, fine. That's completely your opinion. But that doesn't make me any less of a strong person. And that doesn't make you a strong person because everyone's got opinions. The day you start judging people about something that they're insecure about or something that they have an issue, that's when you've got to think about what you're thinking. Because you should never, ever, ever judge someone. And like I said, if someone judges you, you need to take them out of your life because you don't need that negative type. You need to have people in your life who make you a better person. You know, they always say that you always meet two kinds of people in your life. You know, the ones that build you up and the ones that tear you down. I always remember that. But in the end, you thank them both because actually, do you know what? The people who tear you down, you, you want to kind of prove them wrong. And also the people who build you up, obviously, obvious thing there, but they made you who you are. You know, I obviously I'm not saying that, you know, you have to definitely show emotion and tell everybody about it. No, that's not the point. The thing is, there's nothing wrong with talking about about it that's what I'm trying to say and there's nothing wrong with admitting to yourself that yeah there's something about your life that you don't like I think if people spoke about it a bit more or even just admitted it to yourself I think there's a lot you can do with that there's a lot you can change about it because you know they always say that you know accepting that you are insecure about something accepting that this is your fate or accepting it is always the first kind of step because yeah you can deny it that you you are completely secure with your life 100% yeah whatever but the fact is that's your that's just not the fact it's just not true okay and I'm sorry to say that and I'm sorry if I'm hurting anybody or offending anybody or whatever it is or I've touched a nerve that they didn't want to be touched whatever but the thing is if you want to be a bigger and better person the first thing you should do is figure out what you're good at and what you also you're supposedly I don't want to use the word bad but you know what you can change Because everyone in this world should be striving to be better people. Because remember, you are the example for the next generation. And always, I always think this, like, I would never want my kids to sit there and not be comfortable enough to talk to me about something or talk to their friends about something or whatever it is. Because they think, oh, yeah, Amma's got issues. I know she does, but she hasn't really told anybody. So I think I should be okay too. Like, you have to always remember that you're the example for the next generation. So at least for their their sakes, just, you know, admit the fact that you're insecure about something. And it never, ever makes you, a, a like, a worse person. It actually makes you stronger, and I promise you that. Because for me, that was my first step. That was my first step with actually being like, you know, I am insecure about it. So actually, do you know what? What am I going to do to change it? So it was, a, again, kind of food for thought, something to think about. And yeah, I always say, if you don't like something about your life, change it. Because life is way too short for you to sit there, like, lulling over something that could have happened, should have happened, would have happened. As opposed to, what can I do? What should happen? What could happen? That's what you should be thinking. It's all about the future. And that's what you've always got to remember. There's no point dwelling over the past. It doesn't get you anywhere. There's no point thinking, oh, if, if this had happened, then I would have been fine. No, no, that's not how it works. So yeah, just food for thought. I'm sorry if I offended anybody. 
or touched a nerve in in the wrong way or something. But it's just a bit of like, you're not the only one. And never ever forget that. That's that's my point. But yeah, that was today's podcast. And I hope you enjoyed it. So today's tune of the day um, is a bit mellow compared to my normal kind of English stuff that I present you guys. Um, it's called Complicated by um, Olivia O'Brien. Um, I've never really heard any of her songs, to be very honest. So this is my first one. But I heard it. Um, I don't know if, if you've got Netflix. I don't know if you came across the movie after. Um, it was played in that and I was like, oh, this is really good. And like the lyrics was like, it was really deep. Yeah, it was just really deep lyrics. And I was like, whoa, man. And I felt it. So um, I thought, I guess I'd just share it with you and stuff like that. She's got an amazingly beautiful voice. Um, So I have actually started checking out her other stuff. Um, And it's weird. I always think like, you know, I always discover music in very weird ways. Obviously, traditionally, you know, you someone tells you about it or you see on YouTube or whatever it is. But a lot of the times, actually, loads of films and stuff and even like TV series, they actually play really good music. um, But you don't actually sometimes pay attention to it because obviously you're so focused on the scene. Um, So, yeah, I mean, it's just like food for thought. Um, if you do watch movies and stuff like that, um, just have a listen to the soundtrack. Um, and, you know, normally, obviously, they put a sound, uh, they put a song in um, fitting to the scene. So actually it does add to the vibe. Um, so, yeah, I, I just really felt the song. I guess, yeah, it was just deep, I guess, in like in terms of lyric. But her voice is really beautiful. Um, so I just thought I'll share it. So today's tune of the day is Complicated by Olivia O'Brien. Thanks again. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and also follow me on Instagram at brown and bougie underscore underscore. I hope you all have a great day wherever you are and don't forget to tune in next time. See you soon. Bye. to me one on one but you become somebody else around everyone else watching your back like you can't relax you're trying to be cool you look like a fool to me tell me why'd you have to go and make things so complicated i see the way you're acting like you're somebody else gets me frustrated Life's like this, you You fall and you crawl and you break And you take what you get and you turn it into Honesty, you promise me I'm never gonna find you fake it No, no, no something else where you are ain't where it's sad to see you're making me laugh out when you strike your pose take off all your preppy clothes you know you're not fooling anyone when you become somebody else around everyone else watching your back like you can't relax you're trying to be cool You look like a fool to me Tell me Why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? I see the way you're acting like you're somebody else Gets me frustrated Life's like this, you You fall and you crawl and you break And you take what you get and you turn it into Honesty, you promise me I'm never gonna find you faking No, no, no